Hello everyone, welcome to our channel once again. Please leave a like on this video and subscribe to our channel for more updates and also leave a comment to express your thoughts on this. Ebony State Governor Dave Umai has disclosed plans to host the presidential candidate of the Labour Party Peter Obi in the state. Umai, speaking on news, expressed his administration admiration for the activities of Peter Obi leading to the 2023 general elections. The governor described Obi as a friend and denied ever saying that Obi would not get any vote in Ebony State. He said, I never in all my outings and utterances mentioned Peter Obi. Peter Obi is my friend. I'm going to host him in Ebony State and I will host him publicly. I like what he's doing and it's very encouraging. The Ebony State governor was quoted in the past to have said Peter Obi would not get any vote in the state. He has now denied making such comments and accused the People's Democratic Party in a state of orchestrating such narrative. He also noted during the interview that the Igbos lost out massively in the All Progressive Congress and the PDP during presidential primaries. Let us look at some interesting comments. Someone wrote, One good thing I'm taking from this man, being courageous to say what he feels, personally about an op opposite candidate. It can only take a courageous man to be that frank. Another person commented, You hated him, now you are liking him. You thought it would be a failure. Obviously, the vibrant youth are behind him. He is non-compromised individual and that is what any good Nigerian would like these days in terms of good leadership. Here goes another comment. The only reason Obi cannot win this election is rigging. As for national equity and justice, qualifications and competence, Obi is very far ahead of others. No aspirant can match Obi. What obedience must do now is to plan to secure their votes, enduring, their, enduring, the, the, enduring the count, even will punish anybody that will try to manipulate the election process this time in Jesus' name. Another comment wrote, The best way to go for the Ebony State Governor is not just the hosting of Peter Obi, but to join hands together with him against the current administration and their cohorts to rescue the country from the current situation of things that are causing all types of havoc to the citizens of the country under APC administration. Another comment wrote, I believe in poli politics. If you cannot beat them, then you join them. Umai is already seen, has already seen the writing on the wall that Ebony State is for Peter Obi without doubt. He has to be obedient and dirty indirectly. Another comment wrote, If truly that Umai has seen the light and the truth and has repented, we can welcome him back as the prodigal father. I'm going to, I'm going to read the last comment. Good talk. Indigo should work together because it's their turn to produce the president. It's equally great that Peter Obi is the most qualified of all the candidates, apart from excellent antecedents. Obi has solid integrity, which his major opponents lack. Wow. I love politicians. And I love these guys because they are very smart guys, you know. You know, they cannot be taken unaware. You know, it's been on the news for quite some time now that David Omani of Ebony State never wanted anything to do with uh, Peter Obi of Labour. You know, Peter will be the Labour uh, Labour Party presidential candidate, and uh, over time he has said that the uh, Ebony State people, the Ebony people, are obedient to the APC and not to you know the Labour Party because they are not member of the Labour Party, and uh, you know every report made it clear that uh, David Omani is not in support of Peter will be becoming the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And don't forget that the Igbo extraction had been clamoring for the presidency since 1999 that Nigerian uh, has gone back from military to civilian government. In fact, they have not even given the opportunity since then to even get close as even the presidential candidate. And even the few times we have some of them as uh, Senate president, they were impeached. They never completed their, their tenure. You know, and, uh, you know, Peter will be who happened to be the former governor of Anambra State and also presidential, uh, vice presidential candidate to Atikwa last election, you know, uh, 
as was aspiring to become the president under PDP, but later pulled out to join the Labour Party. And since he joined the Labour Party, it has been awesome. You know, he has got massive support from the youth, from the young, from uh, all kinds of people, from all walks of life. And even in the diasporas. And now the, the, the group, several groups are coming out to support him who call themselves obedient. And they are holding um, matches and rallies for him all over Nigerian state. And that those rallies have been massive. They come to social media, they are leading. You know, uh, the Bonyi state governor was a member of PDP, uh, David Omani, who moved out of PDP to join APC to push his presidential candidate. But unfortunately for him, he didn't get anywhere. You know, uh, Bola Ahmed Tunubu of um, uh, Bola Ahmed Tunubu emerges as a presidential candidate of the party. And all he's been here and there, talk and all that, words against words, against Peter Obi, saying all kind of fighting against Peter Obi. But yesterday, he made a U-turn when he was hosted you know, and uh, by Arash TV, and he said, he has never said, mentioned the name of Peter Obi. He denied everything they have said to be written about him. That he has never said anything about Peter Obi concerning the presidency, uh, his ambition to become president come 2023. And he, 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 he said he's going to host Peter Obi in Ebony State and he's going to make it public. That is why I said I love politicians because they are smart people. I want to believe that David Omani has read the line and he has discovered that Peter will be my likely win the presidential election. And he wants to be in his good book. And the only way he can do that is to amend his way as quick as possible. By what he has said, that's going to host Peter will be in the Bonnie state and he's going to host him publicly, means he's going to endorse him to become the presidential candidate. He's going to endorse him and support him. And he made a statement that looking at the presidential uh, primaries of the APC and the PDP, that the whole, the, all the people from the Igbo extraction fail woefully. So to him, this is like, okay, if everybody who tried it in other political party has failed, and Peter Obi is now from our end, and uh, everybody is getting the support from North, East, West, and South, why won't I join him? Don't forget that everybody wants to be in the good book of Mr. President. And I think uh, the bonus.